Hello and welcome to the video. This is an overview of some new stuff from Team Black Sheep. There's quite a bit of new stuff come out, branded Lucid, uh, both PDBs, ESCs, flight controllers, all kinds of stuff. And I've got my hands on some and I thought it'd be interesting to take a look. Now Team Black Sheep are known for the Crossfire system. I still love and fly the Crossfire system here. It's still superior to Express LRS in a number of key ways that I really like, specifically things around telemetry and supporting fixed wings in a better way. But they've just released an absolute load of technology. Now, I did talk a little bit in a couple of other videos about how some of the supply chain issues out of China have created an opportunity for vendors that understand how to make things like flight controllers and PDBs and ESCs and other things to kind of get back on the horse and get involved with the market again. It had become rather staid. And because of those supply chain issues, I think Trappy and the team over there at TBS were perfectly positioned to bring out all the stuff that they've had on the shelf and I've managed to get some of it in here. This isn't all the stuff that we're about to go through. They also are developing lots of things like CAN bus sensors. So those of you that maybe have been using a lot of Matex stuff historically, if you can't get it, it looks like TBS are going to be offering solutions for those too. I've got some of the stuff in here, things like power distribution boards, the single ESC, the 4-in-1 ESCs, the both the 6 and 8S Lucid versions, and three of the new flight controllers. And I've actually played with some of this stuff already, but I'm very tempted to do another quad build i've got a nice frame coming in you may have seen that on the channel already depending on how i release these videos but i've now got a nice flight controller and esc stack that would be great for a quad build to keep me sane over these long winter nights so enough blathering on i'll put links down below to this stuff let's go through all of these packages that have arrived so the first one we'll have a look at is this TBS Lucid Wing PDB. This is retailing for about $18 and it's a 14S, yes, capable of up to 14S, power and servo distribution board for wings with flight controllers. And what it really does is it takes a flight controller primarily designed for something like a quadcopter, allows it to be then popped on the top, and then you can use it for a wing. And I've actually, if you saw just a couple of images shared, I've actually used one with one of the Lucid flight controllers here. Maximum input voltage on this thing is 60 volts, so that's 14S. And the voltage sensor is on here, depends on the flight controller input. Current sensor is 200 amp burst, 90 amps continuous, and the output voltage from this thing are 12 volts 4 amps for the LED and flight controller etc and a 6 volt 4 amps output for the servos. Recommended flight controller that goes along this thing is something like one of the TBS Lucid 20x20 20 20 flight controllers, either Freestyle or the Lucid H7, which I'll show you in a minute. It's designed to have a TBS M10 GPS installed on here with outputs for an analog camera and analog VTX, and also Cobb LED support on here too, as well as a digital VTX connection. Next one to talk about then is the TBS Lucid 12S 90 amp ESC. This retails for about $50. This is running AM32 ESC software, and I think we're going to see so much more of the AM32 come through. Now it's really active as a project, replacing things like the BL Heli S stuff. ESC target is AM32 underscore TBS underscore 12S underscore F. 41 rated current is 70 amps for 60 seconds 90 amps for 40 seconds and the peak current it'll cope with 120 amps for about 30 seconds propellers it's going to run motors with propellers up to about 15 inches but over seven inches requires good airflow it does come with a bit of heat shrink in here the one that i've used in one of the builds that i've done i did actually pop a heat sink on it because it is out of clean airflow just to help keep it cool bi-directional d shot 300 and 600 and also supports kiss esc telemetry no BEC on this, it's 57.8 millimeters by 29 millimeters, and the weight's about 19 grams, excluding the cable and capacitor. On that front, the capacitors that are in the kit, one of them I would use on the wing PDB, because typically you're going to be using the wing PDB with a Lucid flight controller and this thing in the back of the model. 
Two four-in-one ESC setups here as well. The first one, this is the 6S version. This is retailing for about $55. Four-in-one AM32 based 6S ESC, 60 amp continuous, 70 amp burst. Uh, this thing has something called Gorilla mounting pattern. This has a little metal bracket that goes on top of the four-in-one and allows you to mount your 20 by 20 flight controller on top. Propellers, this is going to be fine for up to 9 inch, but over 7 inch is going to require good airflow again. Input is 3 to 6 S LiPo, again bi directional D shot, 300, 600, and, and KISS ESC telemetry. Weight's about 13.81 on 19 grams, including the brackets. There's also a bigger brother to it as well. Lots of the specs are the same. This is the 8S version of the 4-in-1 ESC. This is the AM32 8S ESC. Again, 60 amps continuous, 70 amp burst with the Gorilla mounting pattern using the supplied metal bracket. Rated current is 55 amps for about 60 seconds, although it will support 85 amps up to 10 seconds. This is going to be better for the bigger propellers up to 11 inch, but over 7 inch again is going to require good airflow. This one will support 3 to 8 S LiPo, same kind of protocols and all the other pieces are the same. A little bit heavier though, it's 17.58 grams, it's a little bit physically bigger than the 6S version and a little bit heavier at 22 grams including the brackets. So moving on to the flight controllers, all of these are Lucid flight controller branded. The least expensive one is called the TBS Lucid FC Freestyle. Uh, this is $40. It's a 20 by 20 flight controller with six UARTs, eight mega flash memory, ICM 42688P gyro, and it's got the plug and play ESC connection. So you can just plug it into any four in one ESC that your heart desires. MCU on this is an AT32 F. 435 RMT7 running at 288 megahertz. Gyro on this is the ICM 42688P. Supports four motors. Has BEX on here for 9 volts, 2.5 amps, and 5 volts at 2 amps. On screen display chip, 8 meg black box. Six UARTs that you can actually play with, going up to UART 8. Some of them are dedicated for stuff. Again, supports 3 to 6S, 31 by 29 millimeters. Weight is about 4.5 grams. There is another version, which is the TBS Lucid FC Pro. Pretty much the same specs as the other one. Six UARTs, eight meg flash, 20 by 20 mounting size. The big difference here is that rather than the other gyro, this has the superior MPU 6000 gyro in here as well. And it, everything else is pretty much the same. So the TBS Lucid FC Pro is about $10 more expensive than the freestyle version. Then we have this thing here, which is a H7 FC. This is another $10 more. So this is $60. So this is really built for those enthusiasts and professional pilots who really want to take full advantage of the latest hardware and most of the peripherals around. Going to have to check on target support. This is very new, but I'd expect that iNav, Betaflight and RG Pilot will develop targets for it. MCU on here is an STM32 H743 VIH6 running at a whopping 480 megahertz with one meg of RAM and two meg of flash. Gyro on here is an ICM 42688 with an OSD chip, has a barometer on here as well, 13 PWM outputs including a dedicated LED port, micro SD card slot for the black box, 7 UARTs on here, 2 I2C buses and also a CAN bus on here. So I imagine this is going to be of interest to those of you that are looking at Ardu Pilot or maybe some of the new CAN bus support coming in iNav. Dual camera input on this, switchable camera inputs for two analog cameras, and also full support for HD FPV as well. So there we have it, lots of new stuff from Team Black Sheep. It looks like it's been populated on the website at the moment. Again, links down below, go and take a look. Uh, TBS are f have played around with flight controllers and ESCs and things in the past. It's interesting that the ESCs are AM32 based. I think that's what most of the hobby is going to be switching to as a result for these higher cell count ESC setups. Uh, but it's nice to see them back and getting involved with stuff as well. Hopefully this means that TBS are also going to release some other products that were kind of in the works two years ago, but never saw the light of day. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the website. And again, stay tuned because I'm almost certainly going to be using one of these four in ones along with one of the flight controllers to build a quad over Christmas. 
Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.